What's up guys, it's Blind Man back with another video and today we have new spotlight challenges for the Legendary Path Collection and I'm going to show you how to do each one of them. If you guys need help with them, just let me know in the comments below. I'm going to try to hit each one, maybe give you a little bit of a gameplay example if it needs it, and just try to help you guys get through them. So if you guys like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is a big one because Shaq is a monster. Shaq has... I believe 87 speed. Shaq is going to be the best center, no doubt. No doubt at all. And you actually, for doing this, you get two legendary deluxe packs, which is good, but also you're going to need a lot of MT to get Shaq. So you're gonna to wanna to grind out these solos, which give you 1000 MT per solo. They'll help you on your way to getting him. It's still gonna take a lot. It's still gonna take a lot of extra gameplay, but if you're no money spent, this is going to be huge to getting Shaq. If you just want a chance at maybe pulling something good, like one of the uh, rubies that go in the legendary path, that'll save you 140 uh, MT, I think, if I remember correctly. Or maybe, no, I'm sorry, it's 70. 70k MT for the rubies that you don't have to spend on your way to getting Shaq. This is also going to be huge there, too. All right, so the first one here is the Dame Lillard one, and it's win the game and make three three-point shots. That's actually not too bad. Um, I can show you guys some kind of easy ways to get threes on triple threat, but really it's on pro difficulty. It shouldn't be too bad, but I will kind of see if I can help you out a little bit with getting open. All right, so here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to sit here, and you're going to want to call a pick. So you're going to want to hold L1. Uh, you want to have the ball in the opposite hand and switch back and that usually gets you wide open for a nice little three. Next challenge is the Devin Booker challenge and you just have to get 12 points with a single player. I'm not actually gonna jump into this one because you can actually do it the same as you did the first challenge. So just run picks. If you need to, if you're having trouble hitting threes, you can always do the pick and roll and take whoever you're sending with the pick. Uh, make 12 points with him. That'll work there too. Remember L1 to call the picks. All right, next challenge, we have the Dirk Nowinski Legendary Path Challenge. And this one, I will actually need to help you guys out a little bit on this most likely. Well, I guess, I don't know. Maybe you guys are good with post moves or not. For me, it, I needed a little help when I first started doing it. So hopefully this helps you guys if you guys need it. So what you guys are going to do here, and I will show you when we get into the game, but you're going to hold L2 when you get down in the paint. When you get it to a post, you're going to back down your guy, and then you're going to use the right stick to spin either left or right. So you're gonna spin the joystick left or right. And what that's gonna do is a post spin. And when you do a post spin, that counts as a post move. After that, you're good if you make the shot. So I will show you both in the controls menu where they'll show how to do that. And then I will also show you in the game as well. Okay, so uh, one thing I would recommend here, and I didn't mention earlier, is this is something you can see in 2KU, and it's it's pretty cool if you go in there, it'll actually help you out with practicing it quite a bit. You can also go in here to controls, then you're going to want to R2 over here to post offense, and then right here is what we would be doing, spin or drive. So you're going to hold R2 like I mentioned, and then you're going to spin one direction or the other, and that's going to be on the right stick, and that's going to be where you spin. Uh, you know, if you played post before, you kind of know which side's open. If they're shading one side or the other, you spin the opposite direction. And if you do that spin, sometimes the CPU will block it, but sometimes it will just be a wide open, easy dunk. Usually on pro difficulty, that's what it is, is it's an easy dunk. When you start getting to the harder difficulties, the CPU is going to move in the direction you're spinning and just completely shut you off. But for this challenge, it should be fine just spinning to the open area. So right now, we got the dream matchup. We got Chris Webber on Jason Kidd, spin. Jason Kidd shuts it down, actually. Spin again. That time we got him. Easy dunk. There's your post move. Just keep spinning until you get it. And we're on to the Big Ben challenge. So the Big Ben challenge, uh, I don't even know if that's what we call Ben Wallace, but that's what I'm calling him for this. Uh, you're going to want to get obviously some big guys in there so you can actually in triple threat it doesn't matter what position you get you can put in three centers if you want to just get some height maybe even your best three center power forwards and i've shown this one before but this one gets a little tricky so i'll try to show you guys how to do it what we're going to do is we're going to get to one side 
We're going to play up on the ball on one side and let the CPU drive with the point guard because that's going to be the shortest player. And you drive with the point guard. Um, then when they go up with the shot, you're obviously you're playing the drive. You know the layups come in. That's when you can time your block and get an easy block, hopefully, especially if you're guarding the point guard with a power forward. So just try to use the best ones you have, though, because a quick point guard will be tough to guard with a slow power forward. But you also want a good block rating. So just use the best players you have. And this method still works pretty good even with low overalls. It's just obviously it's better and easier with higher overalls. Best time to do this is on the out of bounds play. You're going to want to shade one side and let Nash drive, then play a little catch up, and then boom, right there you know that he is gonna be going up with the layup, you get back up with him, and you get the nice little block there. So it's not easy, this is by far the hardest challenge for me of them all, but if you play it like that, it will help you. You may have to do it a few tries though. Fun fact, I wasn't trying to win the game here, I wanted to try to get an extra block to get my last block, uh, but I did. I'm not going to lie, that block one was rough. That was the worst one by far. If you guys made it this far into the challenges, you're going to be good. You're on the home stretch. But that block one, it even took me multiple tries, and I'm making this tutorial. It took me multiple tries to shoot it. So just keep trying at it. Keep working at it. If it's really giving you a hard time, just keep experimenting with different players. Keep letting them drive and then going after the blocks. It's a really hard timing thing. Uh, that's the main reason you're forcing him to drive is because you can kind of sit there and time it a little better But it still takes a lot of practice. So here's the J.R. Smith challenge. This one's a lot easier You just need a dunk and three three-pointers So what I would say here uh, to just let you guys know is you can for a dunk Obviously I'd use the pick and roll to get open for a three But also with that you can double tap Y or triangle depending on what system you're on know if they're an alley-oop and an alley-oop counts as a dunk as well um, I'm actually not gonna show this one because really it's pretty self-explanatory three threes and a dunk and using the pick and roll called pick and roll with L1 and we're at the final challenge and this one is Shaq so I wish I had a really good answer on how to do this one easy definitely would say pick and roll is your friend uh, if you need to go into the settings and double team Shaq that's definitely an option uh, I would also make sure that you match up your team appropriately. You know that Shaq is going to be a beast inside, so make sure you get somebody who has really good paint defense. Don't even worry about trying to score on Shaq. Like, you're not going to. Just run pick and rolls and try to see if you can get somebody open for three. Run some plays, see if you can get some threes that way. Um, there's a lot of good people out there that recommend certain plays. I personally use pick and roll a lot. But um, yeah, just try to get open from three because you're not gonna get some, you're not gonna get a lot of paint buckets with Shaq. Try to get somebody with really good interior defense on your team. When it comes to legendary path cards, Daryl Dawkins is really good. He's a really good dunker. He's good on the paint defense. He should help you out quite a bit there. He's one of the better ones. If you actually want to go ahead and lock any of the sets in. Um, I think Ben Wallace would be really good because at least he's going to help you out a little bit on the paint defense. He is not a Shaq counter. Nobody out there is a Shaq counter. So I can't tell you that, but maybe at least Ben Wallace can kind of slow Shaq down enough for you to win this game because it is on pro. So maybe look at Ben Wallace if you're doing the lock-ins and you're already going for trying to get Shaq. Um, if not, I would look at someone like Daryl Dawkins because like I said, he is pretty good player and he's not that expensive that's going to be the best cheaper counter you are going to have to buy uh, cards for this if you look at the rules uh, you can grind out a lot of MT for these cards and playing other modes like salary cap things like that or even other offline modes like domination but you are going to have to grind out and buy a few legendary path cards to even do this challenge uh, personally I I'm kind of whatever because I was already grinding for Shaq, but I do feel for those who are wanting to do this and haven't gotten any of the cards. Uh, what I would say is go through and look at them each individually. You can actually go in and see their player stats as you're on the player market screen, see which ones fit really good for this matchup. Um, mainly, you just need one person that can shoot threes. And then after that, you really got to kind of focus on your defense for guys like Shaq, things like that. 
one guy that you can look at for cheap in the interior defense is uh, Horace Grant. Horace Grant actually has an 88 interior defense. Uh, he's a little, little undersized at 6'10", but really, if you get good interior defense, sorry, I'm jumping around here on the stats, but you get good interior defense, good uh, average speed, I guess, for someone his size. But the big thing is, because Shaq's going to outrun him easily. The big thing is, though, get that interior defense, get it to where he can actually not hopefully have Shaq post him up too bad. Uh, so his strength is an 81. It's not, again, not Shaq level strength, but whose is. But your main goal is to try to limit Shaq, to slow him down. You're not going to stop him. Horace can help with that. Another card I would recommend would be Daryl Dawkins. So he's not as good on the defensive side of the ball as what Horace Grant was, but he's got some of the other things a little better. He's a little quicker. He's a little better on offense. As you see here, his interior defense is, is less than Horse Grant's was, but he does kind of make up with it with having more strength, more speed, uh, more athleticism in general. Uh, again, not Shaq levels, but we're just trying to slow Shaq down. One card I forgot to mention, and hopefully you guys picked him out of the pack, uh, the option pack that we got uh, yesterday or two days ago. Uh, is Nate Thurmond. If you guys didn't, uh, you can't really get him now, so it's, he kind of is the reason why I forgot him is because he's not so easy to get if you didn't already get him. But if you look here, Nate Thurmond is at least 6'11". He's got good interior defense. Uh, I'll say it for a final time. He is not a Shaq stopper. He is not a Shaq counter, but he could sh slow Shaq down enough for you to win the challenge. Uh, he's got 88 interior defense. He's got just enough speed and strength to, you know, somewhat slow Shaq down. It took a minute, but we are through the challenges. We are through the spotlight challenges. We got our two packs, and I'm going to go open them real quick. But before that, I just want to let you guys know, if they do these multiple times, I don't know if they're going to keep doing legendary paths or if they're going to keep doing different uh, events like this. But come check this channel out if you guys are having issues with these type of challenges, because I will try to do quite a few videos and try to see if I can help you guys along the way. I'll, um, I've already made quite a few, but uh, yeah, anytime you guys get stuck, also follow me on Twitter because I will uh, try to make a video if you guys are getting really stuck on something. So just let me know. Uh, but let's go open the packs and let's see what they are. So what we're really hoping for is we're really hoping for some rubies. We really want some rubies here out of these two because it's going to make it a lot cheaper. Preferably ones that we don't already have. Uh, and that's an emerald. Okay, and I think I already have Derek Coleman. So we can see if we can swap him from collection, but that's not going to really help us much here. Uh, maybe give us a little extra VC. Not much because it's a non-syllable. So that one hurts, but hopefully we can get one last ruby out of this last pack. If not, we ended up with a total of about 10k out of this. There's a ruby. All right, let's hope it's a ruby that we don't have. And we got Danny Granger. I don't think I had Danny Granger. So that's where this helps. This saved me 70k on the grind for Shaq. It's a long grind for Shaq. Uh, is he worth it? I mean, he's probably the best player in the game right now. But that's a lot of time. So that's up to you if you think he's worth it. But you can obviously have a chance at pulling uh, from going through the spotlights. Somebody like Danny Granger that's going to save you 70k. Which is uh, really about... 12 was that 14 uh, unlimited games or uh, salary cap games if that's what you're playing whatever you're playing to get your grind on for games this could help um, so yeah uh, let me know if this video helps you guys please like comment and subscribe it helps out the channel and helps the video out and I'll be able to make more of these so thank you guys for watching peace